Welcome back to another episode of the Acastus Night Asterius. In this one, I am going to be painting up the mortar assembly um, for assembly. So, the mortar assembly for assembly, yeah. So, um, these are going to be painted up so that I can actually get this set up and then start moving forward with getting the rest of the body primed and getting everything painted. So hopefully this color scheme should look pretty cool. Um, so I'm just gonna start out by kind of mashing this dark purple into the back of all of these spaces. All right, so with the dark purple in, we'll let that set up for a little longer, and I'll come back and start kind of adding the middle tone. And then in that lower window on all of them, um, I'm gonna add what looks more or less just like a bunch of splotchy different color to make it look almost more like a plasma chamber. Um, and then hopefully all the coil up at the top will look like it's getting highlighted up to look hot. Uh, then the framework will end up being painted metal and the very tips of those will be painted the Averland Sunset, my normal kind of yellow hazard stripe for the Iron Warriors. And then hopefully that gold color on the tip will be kind of like able to hopefully tie it all together into that Iron Warriors theme. Um, so as soon as that dries, I'll start on that middle tone. So now I'm going to add or start adding the middle tone and I can still be a little sloppy with this. Um, it's not, well, this whole thing can be a little sloppy until pretty much the very end. when I'm doing all the metal work and then can't get any of that onto this detail. So.
So with each pass, the idea is that I'm just kind of getting narrower and narrower into the center. So then there's going to be another wash that'll go in and kind of help tie everything together. So I'm trying to make sure I leave some of that middle purple in here as I add as I add this brighter pink. coming along. I like the highlights in there. I think they look pretty cool. Once the metals and all that are finished, that ought to look pretty cool. There is a, another darker purple wash to go in. Um, and then I'll probably do one more kind of quick highlight through the centers of all those coils um, with some of the pink and a little bit of white mixed in to kind of desaturate and brighten it just a little bit more. So... I'll be doing the wash and then the highlight and then moving on to the metals and then these guys should be done uh, with just little yellow tips on there. So yeah, I think that's looking pretty cool. All right, now I'm going to switch brushes. Um, and this did actually used to be a good brush as well. Um, <clears throat> and do the metallics. So normally want to keep uh, my brushes separate.
Okay, so those are looking pretty cool. I think once the lead belcher has a chance to set up, I'll come back with my kind of brightest, hottest pink. Um, and actually, before I add any white, I'm going to do just a little dry brush over those coils um, to brighten them back up just a little bit after the wash, and then add a little bit of um, OSL, object source lighting, to the surrounding metallic. Uh, and then that'll make it look a little more like they're actually illuminated. And then after that, I'll go back with the white added to the pink and do the last little highlight on the coils themselves. So they're definitely coming along. It's gonna look really cool when they're done. I like it. All right, so now I am going to do just a little bit of dry brushing. And this is the furthest one to the back. So it's going to have the light from the ones in front of it hitting it as well. So this might be a little overboard. But most of this, especially the lower parts of it, is going to be hidden. So then this is the middle one. The one in the front is probably going to have the least, but still, I want to add it kind of in the middles at least to make sure that there's at least some feeling of the light uh, from one of them kind of bouncing and hitting the other. Cool. All right, so I've added a bit of white um, to desaturate the pink and brighten it up. I'm adding just a little to the centers. To hopefully make it feel more illuminated. I did also go ahead and paint the inside of the carapace lid here, um, the mortar assembly housing lid, uh, with administratum gray. Uh, and I think after kind of thinking through it, I'm going to use administratum gray for the interior walls of the cockpit, as well as the interior walls of the rest of the mortar assembly. Um, and only because, generally speaking, with at least um, most tanks, armor type things, the interior tends to be 
a pale gray green sand kind of idea um, and so it's just kind of the really pale color um, administratum gray is is actually a bit of a warm gray but it's nice pale and I think fits the overall theme with the Aryan Warriors kind of everything else being um, black and metal and um, the Everland sunset so I think that metal actually works quite well for that um, so the last I think real thing I have to paint um, well, other than these hoses, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those yet, um, but is the tips of these, and that is going to be Everlyn Sunset, to tie into uh, all of the, well, hopefully tie into all the hazard stripes that are going to be nearby on the shoulders and stuff. And hopefully it'll also look like, you know, a cool balance with the purples. It is a base color. Hopefully I didn't thin it down too much. I don't have to do a bunch of coats in an area like this. Where I don't really want to mess it up. actually look very cool um, I like the light gray I think it's a cool color and it's gonna work out really nice got those little bolts painted on there uh, that I didn't notice until I painted the gray so I'm gonna go back and hit the, the metal with just a really kind of I don't know controlled gnome oil wash Let's see, nice small brush because I just want it in very specific spots. So I'm going to hit the base, but I'll probably, well, Not at a point where I want to just dirty everything though. We may get there, but for now, I just want to emphasize a couple things. ready to assemble so once these pieces dry take a little more. Uh, once this dries I'm going to glue it all up and then we'll be ready to actually place this in the back of the 
the housing. Um, and it should then be able to be glued in place uh, because it's really only attached to the top of the carapace. It'll still make it so everything's removable. All right, almost there. Um, once everything dries, I'll get it all glued up. Okay, with all the pieces painted up, I am going to assemble, hopefully, uh, without anything going horribly, dramatically wrong, like me super gluing my fingers to things right now. That could happen at any time. sure with the line in the back below the cutouts that I'm as even as possible. It looks like it's pretty well aligned. And this I do not want to hit with zip kicker. Um, this uh, paint is definitely going to be way too fragile for that. Um, spray paint after a couple days seems like it's pretty well impervious to Zip Kicker. Uh, this paint, uh, within half an hour of being painted, definitely going to be destroyed by Zip Kicker. So, we'll just be gentle.
that ought to work quite nicely now. Some of the light gray needs just a little touch up. But for the most part, I think that looks really cool. All right, once that's set up, I will attach it to the carapace. All right, so all painted up, um, went through, did a little bit of the touch up that needed to be done. And now got these two little swivel points um, get attached to the carapace. And so I believe um, we should be able to set that up. So let's hope. Not perfect, really close. All right, so as usual, you need to just quit messing with it. Let it set up. All right, should still be openable once it's dry. Want to make sure it closes nicely. And if I have to fill in a little bit of glue or epoxy sculpt around the hinge, I'll do that. <clears throat> but that fits in pretty good. The hinges are set down in pretty nicely. I already tested it, so it should actually close no problem inside the carapace. Just try to make sure it's even. And we'll let that set up. Um, so that should be it for this one. Um, the whole mortar assembly looks really cool all set up in there um, once that's actually opened um, depending on whether or not it actually will stay open it's on on its own i'll end up gluing that in place because i definitely want it to be able to be open more so than i want it to be able to be closed so that's it for this one thanks for watching uh, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe all right thanks a lot and i'll see you in the next one